Hey everybody, this is Chris. Today's video is doing a complete mid-frame repair on a DJI Mini 2 SE. This is the same for the original DJI Mavic Mini, DJI Mini 2, and DJI Mini SE. You just have a different mid-frame. Uh, in this case, for the DJI Mini 2 SE, we had to use a DJI Mini 2 mid-frame. Uh, the part just wasn't readily available here in the U.S. It would have taken a month to get it from China. Uh, those who do have it here in the U.S. are charging an arm and a leg, at least at this time. That could change tomorrow. Um, it just depends on you know how readily available it is. Got the part within two days, got it fixed, got it to the customer, and he was happy. So basically his DJI Mini 2 SE now looks like a DJI Mini 2, but it still says DJI Mini 2 SE on the arm. Um, so basically you're just going to have this little slit in the front with no light in it. It really isn't something you really notice. And if it's something you bother that bothers you, cover it up with your FAA sticker or something. Um, it wouldn't bother me. It didn't bother him kept the, the price down and uh, got it to them fast. Generally, I can get something like this and have, a, have, have it back to somebody in like three or four days, ordering the part, shipping, and then delivery back to the customer after repair. So um, you'll see in this video, you literally have to take every single part off of the frame. Uh, so you have to have some soldering skills and you can't have gorilla hands because of all the thread, um, the uh, ribbon cable, not thread. The ribbon cable, it's very fragile and you'll see that in this video. So if you start watching this video and decide this is something that is not within your skill set, it's a little too much, too advanced for you, contact me, I'll give you my address, you can send me your drone, I'll get the part and I'll replace your, your mid-frame or whatever repair you need on your DJI Mini and whatever other drones you have for that matter. I, I work on pretty much everything. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Just wanted to give you that little intro to explain what you're going to see in this video as far as me using a different part to do this repair. And from there, watch the video, enjoy, and I hope this helps you if uh, you're able to do this yourself. So enjoy the video and take care. Let's go ahead and take all the props off, fast forward. Okay, so now we're going to remove these four screws so I can take the shell off. This one feels like it might, the plastic might be stripped. So I might have to force that one off, but we'll see. I'm going to take the SD card out, and obviously, no battery. So those four screws are off. Three of them fell out. And the other one is still in there. But we'll see if it comes off. So what you want to do is open your bay door. Grab it from back here and just unsnap that. And then the front area here, you want to unsnap that. And she comes off just like that. And yeah, there's a broken piece of plastic right here where that screw was. So we'll try to get that out by holding it. It's actually wrapped the wire around it. Hopefully that's not damaged. No, it's not. So the wire got wrapped around that as I was unscrewing it. So I'm glad I stopped, but I'm going to hold the piece of plastic here and then unscrew the screw. There it is. There's our screw. Okay, so that's all off. I'll double check this wire when we get the leg off. Everything has to come off, obviously, uh, for us to do this. So uh, the first thing we are going to work on taking off is, uh, let's go ahead and take off the GPS. So for the GPS, you have a screw here, and you have a screw here and a screw here. So we'll take that off now, and it unplugs from the bottom. 
you take your screws off, you can label them you, with a piece of paper and set them on it. What I do is I just take the part, the screws out and I keep the part with the screws. So I put my three screws over there and then I take the part off. Carefully lift up and unplug it from the bottom here. Just like that and then put this with the screws and it's easy to remember. Uh, this board here, not taking that off yet until we unsolder all these wires. Uh, but right now let's focus on the gimbal. So we uh, are going to take the bottom off. This bottom plate, it's only held by two screws. So we're going to unscrew these two screws. And if they don't come out with your screwdriver, no big deal. They'll fall out. There's one. And when I top, when I pop the cover off, it'll probably fall out. But you just pry it from the back and the sides. There it is. <laughs> pry it from the back and on the sides, and it just comes right off. Put that cover with those screws. We have this heat shield here. You have one screw right here. This, this drone's already been taken apart once. You can see by uh, the, the warranty sticker. It's already had a puncture in it. Put all those screws aside. And this just comes right off. It's got a little little uh, of the blue um, conductor stuff on it to help with the heat. So just put that aside and don't worry about wiping any of that off. You don't have to put new on, there's enough on there. Um, but we're going to go ahead and unplug all the cables here. You have one cable on the side. So we're gonna, going to unplug that. You can use a pry tool like this if you don't have fingernails like me. And just lift it up like that. You don't want to pop your antennas off. They pop off real easy. Just pull it out of its track area and put it aside. Same goes for that one, put it aside. We got these plugs up front here. Just unplug them, just like that. Take this board off, just kind of wiggle it free. There it is. Put that aside. Now we can take the gimbal out because these plugs are free. So to do that, first we have to undo the dampers. You just want to be a little careful in this area. And I like to just poke them through with a screwdriver. So you want to, where's my tweezers? You want to put a little pressure on them and then just kind of poke them through. So I kind of grab it right here with my tweezers and then just push it through like that. You don't want to tear them or anything, so just don't force them. Just like that. And same goes for underneath, where they mount on the inside here. See if we can just poke them through, push down through the top and just kind of work it through and it goes right in. Push through the top and just kind of work it. And it goes right out. So there we are. We're free there. But you got to be careful because you have your ribbon cable that runs all the way over here. So we're just going to kind of get it free at the bottom here. And set it like that. And pull our cable out carefully, carefully, carefully. Just like this. 
bring that aside. And now we have to do all this ribbon cable. This is where you want to be very careful. So it's already come apart from all the black goo. It doesn't hold it very well, but you want to separate it now from where it's stuck. So again, tweezers can come in handy there. Be very careful with this ribbon cable. Just going to grab this plastic and kind of pull it away just like that. And now pull the other part of that plug through and grab the ribbon cable where you're unsticking it. Stay close to the sticky part with your fingers as you're pulling it. Don't pull from way back here because if you pull from back here you're going to rip that ribbon cable. So just take your time. It sticks really good. And just slowly pull it and come around here there we are so now we have this white silicone gel I'm just going to score that and usually it'll come free you don't have to get it all off right now but I'm just going to score it this is all metal so you're not going to hurt anything with a razor blade just don't hit your cable so score that side, score that side, and I can see it's starting to move now. There it is, comes right on out. Put all that aside. So we don't need to worry about cleaning anything up in here because we're not reusing this. Um, the white silicone glue there, just gonna break that loose. on this side just like that okay so that's all loose and we can pull our antennas up through here now so what I'm going to do is just get a little slack and grab them with some tweezers get where I can make sure I can keep you in view here I'm gonna bring some more light in see if that helps but just grab it, give it a little slack there. And then the end of it, you just want to make sure it goes through the hole and pull it on out. There it is. Same goes for this side. Just grab it with some tweezers, needle nose pliers, whatever you got. And just don't force it because that end has to come through. And I just kind of wiggle it around until it finally just breaks through there. Maybe twist it a little bit. There we go. And it's out. All right. So now we can unsolder all the wires for each leg off the ESC board. So let's make sure our heat's on here. Get soldering iron. Should replace my tip. It's starting to get worn out. Might have to pause and replace the tip, but we'll see how it is. I've been using it so much it's starting to eat away. But we'll see how it goes. So let's start up here where I can actually grab them with my fingers and let's see how it goes. one off. They're labeled white, black, and red. Each one of them. Some of them are a little hard to read around this plug area because they go underneath the plug. But you can take a picture of it and then that way you know exactly how they go back as well. So I just take each one off. Just like that. That one's all free. Tweezers. Do these guys. And it's good, you know, if you have have one of those little gadgets that holds your your um, 
drone in place or the board, whatever you you know put the little alligators cl alligator clips to it. That's fine. Um, for me, this is a lot easier for me to keep it in camera view and make it so you guys can see. Let's take each wire off. I'm gonna clean all this up too. I'm gonna put it back together. Be careful not to hit the frame, which I I hit it right here. We don't care about this one, but when you're putting your new one in, be careful not to hit it. So that one's free. Get these back ones here. If you're not good at soldering, you're not going to like this. But I fix drones, and you can simply send it to me if you like. And we're free. We can leave this cable on right here. So now I can unscrew these two screws and I'll show you how to slide that out carefully. So when you take this out, this cable is glued to the side, not glued, but it's got sticky adhesive. So you want to free that up first, like so. Okay, now it's free. And now we lift the board up and slide forward because of your battery prongs. So just lift it up and slide it out. These little white rings might come off. Come on, there we go. And one came off. Just put it right back in place. Okay. That's the board. Put that aside with its screws. Now we can take the legs off. We'll start with the front legs. Just unscrew these. And put those there. Now we gotta pop these out. It's kinda hard where they're sitting to pop them out. So what I do is I usually try to push them through on this side here. So if you just take a small screwdriver and put on there, you can generally push them through. Now they have some, some spring to them, but then they pop right out. So put that one there, pull that out, and the leg is free. Put all, I'm getting running out of room here. <laughs> now this one, Try to make it so you can see it good when it pops out. Just put it right there. Kind of wiggle the leg. And they can be tight. It is spring loaded, so like right now it's under full full load. Doesn't matter if you open or close it, it's still going to, going to be under a load. So I know I get comments sometimes that where people say it's easier if you close the leg, but it doesn't make a difference. It really does not. Let me pull that one out. And that leg is free. Put it aside. Now the back legs, you have a screw here and a screw there. We'll go ahead and close it up and take those first two out. And now the legs will be free. So you just slide them off, just kind of wiggle them and they'll slide off of that socket. And then you just pull the wires out. Pull this one off, watch your wires. And put it over there. Now, the last thing to take off is the actual axis uh, socket, I call it. 
So we're gonna need to unscrew the three screws there. Generally, these break when you have a crash. If you break a leg, these are generally going to break. If you ever have to replace a leg, definitely order these two because you might not see the break until you take it apart. But so far, these, these look perfectly fine. Some oil in here. Looks like he oiled them up. Um, you don't need to oil these. And this one looks good too. Where'd that screw fall? Keep my screws together. Put them inside. All right, so everything is off of here except for the stickers. I'm gonna take those stickers off and also put them on the new uh, shell as well. So from here, I'll pause real quick, transfer all the stickers, and uh, then we'll come back. Okay, so I have the new stickers in place, or not new stickers, his stickers transferred into this one. So we'll start with the legs and um, the ESC board. So first, let's go ahead and just get the legs on, and then we'll put the ESC boards, or ESC board on there. So let's just bring these legs in and get them lined up here. So you flip it upside down. It's got a round side and a flat side. The round side goes in. I had it the other way. This isn't easy to do and keep you guys on camera, but here we go. <laughs> Just slide it on down. Okay. So now I'll just put my thumb in here and just kind of press it and try to slide it down. I'm close, I'm not all the way in here. So you gotta kind of wiggle the arm until that pin comes through. So now we'll just kind of look at this pin and see if it pops through. There it is. Now that pin's nice and flush and you can put your screws in. Let's go ahead and put the other leg on <clears throat> Check the spring first and get this other one in. Flip it over, do the same exact thing. Round side on the inside. Started and just kind of wiggle it around. Now we're all the way down, and I'm going to do the same thing. Just kind of hold my thumb here and push my finger there and try to get it to slide up top. There it is. Okay, it's not really hard. And then just to check it, double check it there. All good. So now we can put these four screws back in. Just keep this stuff aside for now. Come on, get out of my way. There we go. All right, so let's do the back legs. Bring them in. You gotta get the joints on there. So these joints have a flat spot right here. And that flat spot goes up top, just like that. And then put our screws in, which you see are already in there. Where's my screwdriver, a small one. I'm just getting them all started and I'll torque them down. And again, tighten them up. 
until they stop. Don't go any further. And then just visually check to make sure that it there's no open area that you got them all tight and they're good to go. So that's all on and we can slide the legs through now. So you just push your wire through the center here, wires through the center and you'll see them right there and you can kind of twist them and move them and they'll they'll slide up. If not, just grab them with tweezers, which I'm going to probably have to do. Sorry, you're not in view. Grab them. Pull them on up. Okay. So now put the leg on. Just slide it over top of that and double check it and make sure the spring's good. Pull the wires kind of taut. And we'll do the other side and then we'll put all the screws in. And I apologize if when I'm doing this, you get out a camera view because I'm trying to focus on paying attention to what I'm doing, which sometimes I pull it back and get it out of view. So let's get the tweezers and pull the wires. This one is going to be a little more difficult for me. That white wire. There they go. They're all in there. Like so, and just make sure they're, see how that black one's looped? Make sure they're all pulled. Don't want to pinch any of them. And then just slide it over top of that joint, like that. Make sure they're taut. Got them all. And we'll put our screws in. Okay, it's all good with the legs. Now, the fun part is soldering everything back, but I want to clean this board up some. Actually, those joints look pretty good. I'm going to just kind of see if I can, like this one looks really good. See if I can just clean those up a little bit. I was going to remove all the solder and put all new on there, but it really doesn't look like I need to. We'll see how they bubble up. Put this soldering iron heat back up. Go ahead and let these fall off. Where'd you go? There it is. Put those little rubber grommets aside. And then we'll just clean up each section of this board. We're almost heated back up here. Okay. We're just gonna clean up all the solder, make it more like just a nice little little bubble. Maybe add a little solder to it. I'm going to add a couple, add a little solder to a couple of them. Okay. So for that, let's get some flux on it. I'm nothing fancy here. I just, I have my flux all on a toothpick. Just kind of dab it on there. And we'll wipe all this down when we're done. You can use an electrical cleaner if you like. I don't I don't do any of that. I just wipe it all off. Okay. My 
solder. Just go ahead and just put it right on the directly on the tip of the soldering iron. I really should change this soldering iron tip. Okay, so let's add a little more to this one. Yeah, that looks good. Nice round puddles there. I like to do it this way to where it's already on there instead of trying to do it while I'm trying to put the wire on. A lot easier. And just add it, that's too much. Get you a better close up when I'm all done. Nice, perfect puddles. You want them to look like kind of like a ball shape. Bring it on up and let you see. Get your focus. Okay, so then after I do my wires, I'll wipe all that flux off. So bring the drone over and we'll slide it on in. I want to be careful here. Remember, you got to slide this into here. So you're going to come in at an angle. It's not always real easy. You just got to just get past that and snap in place. See how I'm pushing against this? You want to kind of and I get that to, there we go, go under it. Get that wire down there, that flex cable. And get our rubber grommets, put our screws back in. Fingers have flux on them, a little sticky. And the screws back in. And then when you hook up your legs, remember, read the board for what color goes where. Or if you took a picture, just look at the picture. Okay, in place. Try to move some stuff aside here. Get them out of the way some. Let's go ahead and push our antenna wires down so they're out of the way. So remember they just go right down through this little area here and just kind of wiggle them around till that uh, IPEX end pops through and pull it down. There's a slot here that holds everything that holds the wire in place and then we'll put some more uh, electric grade silicone down in there. Push this one through. And pull the wire down just like that. We'll add the silicone after we're all done, but uh, I don't know if you can see it here, but we have white, black, red, and then this is going to mirror it, white, black, red, and this side, red, uh, black, white, and then it'll be red, black, white. This side here is really, a, you can't see it because this plug 
and then uh, it's a little faded but they mirror each other so whatever you do on this side this side's going to correspond so let's do this side first remember white black red so we'll get our white wire and I'm not gonna treat these wires or anything they've already got solder on them we've already got flux on our board and this is where a pair of tweezers comes in handy but you first just kind of want to bend it so it lines up and then grab it with your tweezers and hold it in place and hopefully they all just go right on there nice and clean just like that okay so that's white and now black bend the wire down a little bit I don't like that one turn it a little bit I like to keep them as straight as possible pointing out and this red just like that okay and then you're just going to kind of push them down a little bit like that so then this one red black white get our red first bend it down a little bit Try not to hit anything. Just like that. And then just press them down. Put them, put them flush to the side. And you also want to go through, I use a magnifying glass when I'm all done and I just make sure nothing is touching. I can already tell these look good, but I will still check it. So remember, white, black, red. So just copy the other side. You want to make sure you get up underneath that solder. That's why I like to bend the wire down so I can have my pressure against it. I might add some salt. No, that's good. That's good. Okay, black. And remember that white wire was wrapped around before when I took it apart, but I did check it when I was paused here. Black and then red. Let's get that red up underneath. There we go. I might have had too much coffee this morning. My hands are a little shaky. <laughs> Bend it down some more. and press the wires down okay those look good and now this side got them twisted red and black and white the red first then the wire And again, if you've never soldered, I might be making this look a little easy for you, but it's because I have a good soldering iron. That's the trick. Don't go buy that cheap Harbor Freight 
$10 soldering iron because it's not going to be good enough for you. It's not going to work. You're going to overheat the board trying to use those cheaper ones that don't have enough heat. If you get one with less heat, less wattage, you're going to be on the board longer trying to heat up the solder and when you do you're heating up everything around it. If you get a good one that's good and hot, it melts that solder really fast and then nothing around it gets hot. That's the trick. If you have any old broken electronics, always good to practice on those. There we go. Everything's in. And then like I said, I like to take a magnifying glass and take just take a look at it. Take a look at each joint. And I'm happy with them. So I'm gonna clean all these up now, get all the extra flux out of there. Okay, so I have all the flux cleaned up. And we're good to go. And then I'm gonna push these down. And I'll apply some silicone to those. You really don't have to. They hot glue them from the factory, but once the shell and everything's on, they can't go anywhere, so don't necessarily have to do that. All right, so that's all on. Let's go ahead and get this gimbal back in place. And uh, that's the hardest part. Aside from soldering, if you don't know how to solder, this gimbal is the hardest part just because you gotta be so careful with the cable and you gotta be careful with your dampers. So, let's see here. We go like that, that's how it goes back in. But I'm going to get this cable situated first, the flex cable. And what we're going to do there is work our way backwards. We're going to slide this back down inside and get some of this off. Should have done that already, but we'll just peel it off. It's not all coming off angle down, put it in the track, and slide it in place and stick, just like that. Okay, and then we're going to work our way around here, just sticking it back in place. Let's try to make it so you guys can see. Let me push this down out of my way here. Try to get that cable to go back down through that slot. Bend it a little bit. There we go. They have markers, those white squares are where the sticky stuff is. So what I'm trying to do here is I just want to make sure this one's nice and straight coming across. That's why I'm trying to get all this out of my way. Slide it into the corner. You can't even see. Slide it into the corner here. And just make sure it's stuck right there and right there. And then you want to try to come straight across here. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that and then again we want to take we want to go behind this right here we want to go behind that piece and then I just come behind it with my screwdriver and just kind of press against it to make sure it sticks not hard I think I have one with a rubber tip on it here somewhere no I don't it's nice nice to hit it with something that's not going to damage it like the tip of the tweezers here, I can use those. Put it back on the tweezers, it's nice and rubber now. And then I can just kind of get behind it, put my finger on this side, and just kind of rub it to make it stick. And then the next one sticks right here. So we just fold that over. 
and stick it in place. And they put the black the <clears throat> black silicone on that, so we'll have to add some of that if it doesn't stick, which we should just add it anyhow, but it's not wrapping around the way I would like it right now. It's very hard to do this and show you on camera. Most repairs that I do, it's a little frustrating trying to record this for you guys. Yeah, so I'm going to have to add some silicone to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bracket off. It makes it easier if you take that bracket off and unplug the cable that way. I'm, I don't have to hold the camera. I was trying to avoid that, but at least this way you can also see that you can unplug that cable from the gimbal. Okay, right there's the plug. Just pop it loose with your fingernail if you have them, <laughs> which I don't. Take a pry tool. Pop it off. Let's move the, this out of the way. So now you can see straight down in there. I probably should have just done that for you guys to begin with. Put that in there like that and add some silicone to it. And get my rubber behind here and just that way I can press against it. Okay, so I'll put some black electrical silicone on that. We'll let it dry. But it's just electrical or electronic grade silicone. Hopefully it's not dried up here. Just used it the other day. It's dry. All right, my silicone silicone was a little dried up and we had a blowout, so I have to apply it with a screwdriver. The, the tube itself blew apart. But I'm just gonna coat it on there. Try to keep it clean. Don't need much. Okay. And I'll let that dry and then we'll put some white silicone on this one. Hopefully that's not all dried up. Here's the white. See how that is. Okay, it's not dried up. Something's going right for us. Okay, just add a little on there. going to kind of wipe it with my finger so it's nice nicely pressed into it and let that all dry and add it here to the wires get them pressed down where they should be and just add it in here not much it doesn't really need it but we're doing it anyhow. Okay. So we'll let that dry. I'm going to pause this. We'll let that dry. We'll put the gimbal in and uh, take it from there. All right. So now let's go ahead and put the gimbal in. And hopefully this stuff is dry enough. But we're just going to get it up in place. Snap that back all on and put the, put the bracket back on it. So... Let's uh, put it the right, yeah, that's the right way. Bring it up in there, just like this. And then let's just focus on these front dampers real quick here. And get them all set and lined up. 
So here's where tweezers come in handy to just grab it, get it started. And then you can go on the other side and pull it through. Just like that. Now bring this one in. Get it started. And you can usually just pull it through. You can press from the back too to get a little more to bulge out on it. It's not all the way through. The bottom of it now it's through. Okay, see, just like that. We're not gonna plug it in yet. Let's get this bottom the bottom two in. They're a little harder to get in, but they go in. So let's try to do this to where you guys can see it. Grab my tweezers. Get it up in there and start it. Just want to be able to get enough in there to where I can uh, pull through with the tweezers now. But I don't think I have enough. Push a little more in there. There we go. And it's in. Let's see if the other side goes any easier. Just grab it and push it on in. Try to keep my hands out of the way. Top is in. Press against it. There we go. Hopefully you could see that good enough. Let's pull this wire up. It's going to go down in the back, but let's go ahead and get this plugged back in. Hold on to your gimbal, line it up, and just wait to hear it click. Don't force these connectors. I'm trying to keep it to where you can see it. Okay, just snapped right into place. Now let's put the cover back on. One of the screws is still in there. A little bracket to hold it down. The other screw. And then bring this wire around. It goes underneath this little bracket right here, which this little bracket never snaps back into place the way it should. It'll sit there loose, but we have a little snap one right here, and then it'll hold it in place nicely. So I'm going to hold on to the gimbal and we're going to pass this wire down. It's got to go down into that slot, which if you remember plugs into the main board. And there we go, we're down. So let's take a look underneath here and there they are. So there's both our cables. Okay. Nice and neat. Gimbal is all in place. All my cables are good. So I'm happy with that. All right, 
let's go ahead and bring in the GPS here and uh, plug that into place underneath. Try to keep it so you can see. None of this is ever smooth when you're videotaping it, when you're recording it. Again, you don't force any of this stuff. You'll feel it fall into place, just like that. Okay, it's snapped into place. And just line it back up where it goes. And put the screws back. It's all on dampeners so you can move it aside. Get your screws lined up. Okay, that's all done. And now we flip it over and do the board underneath and get our antennas hooked back up plug all our plugs back in so you want to kind of move your plugs aside the best you can keep your wires aside get the board and you're going to come in like this and go underneath those plugs you can take some tweezers and make sure the plug is pulled up there we go we got to watch this plug on the side here and then our antennas are in their little slotted areas and then sometimes you got to just kind of move the board aside or the frame aside and it'll fall into place just like that. Double check and make sure your SD card and your micro USB are lined up. Everything looks good. You just start snapping everything back into place. Now, these cables here aren't going to be real easy to get back on because now they're not in the exact location they were at before since you've gone and messed around in here and move things so you're gonna have to adjust it and just kind of wiggle it around until you get it to snap back onto the board like that okay now this one this one's a little hard because you got the power button board in the way but you'll get it just got to be patient. It's being a being a pain in the butt here. I'm trying to see if I'm lined up. It looks like I'm dead on top of it. that glue off of there. Yeah, it's being a pain in the butt. Got it. Part, part of the way. There we go. Now that's snapped down. Let's get this one in. These are never really easy, so you just have to be careful. Take your time until you feel them just fall into place. 
It's definitely easier when you're not trying to record this and show everything. You have to have patience, that's for sure. feel like it's just not lined up good where I restuck it so I'm gonna unstick it try again. there we go that's what it was it was where I had it stuck on the frame now I can stick my finger back in there and restick it see where it runs down in there so now we're snapped everything snapped except the antennas just double check them all and then let's go ahead and do our antennas so you want to pull this down, tuck it here. Let's go ahead and just get it plugged in and then we'll run it. So this one goes here. And then we'll run it where, where back where it used to be, between here, and snap it down in here. And then we'll do this one. This one requires tweezers because it's shorter and stiffer. They generally don't go on easily. You want to be very careful not to collapse the ends on them. A little micro apex here. There we go. So that's lined up hold it with my thumb and go ahead and just get tucked down in here and we're good to go i don't glue anything none of this requires glue on it i don't even put glue on these once the cover's on it holds everything in place so let's put our little heat shield back on it goes on like this Three screws, our warranty screw that is now voided. I actually have warranty stickers I can put back on if I want to, but this one's been apart before and it's not getting the exact same shell on it, so it would be silly to put a warranty sticker back on it. A little hard to line them up. Everything looks good. Okay, so those are all in. We can put this cover back on. You want to snap it in the front. Try to. Like so. Get your sides in. Both sides and then just work your way back. Like that. Everything is snapped in. Put the two screws back here. They're not magnetic, they're stainless steel. So they will not stick to your magnetic tip screwdrivers. But you can just drop them in there and then tighten them up. 
just look around, make sure all your stuff is in place. We've used up all the parts. We don't have leftover screws except for the ones to put on this last cover. So to put the cover on, just snap it in place from this front and work your way back. Keep that bay door open. It's not snapping all the way. There we go. There we go. And it looks good. Back door closes nicely, put screws in. All right, so we have all the props back on and the SD card in place, all that good stuff. And this is all done, so uh, if you would, on your way out, hit that thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, uh, greatly appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that bell for future content notification. And uh, look forward to some more how-to tutorials on how to fix your drone. Thanks for watching. Peace and love.